Hey guys, welcome back to Brunson's Math Club. Today's topic is decimal division by 1,000 and larger numbers. So, in our previous two videos, we talked about dividing decimals by 10 and 100, and we sort of displayed the entire logic. And so I'm going to be going over that once again in this video. So, let's say we have a problem such as 24.4 divided by 1,000. Okay. So the first thing you do is, I know you could use like the zero method and count the number of zeros and then move it. Okay, but that's not really logical. I mean, you don't know why and how you did that. So there is another more logical way to do this and find the um, correct quotient. So you take your decimal number, 24.4, okay, and you're going to identify the place value for each of these. The 4, which is right after the decimal point, is going to be in the tenths place with the TH. The 4 is going to be in the ones place, and the 2 is going to be in the tens place. And as you can see, this is still the tens, and that's the tenths. I wrote this differently so that it wouldn't like look the same. This is a tens with an S because it's a whole number, and this is a tenths with a TH because it's going to be the fraction after the decimal number. Decimal point, sorry. Okay, so now that you've identified the place value for each of these, what you're going to do is you're going to write them in fractions. First, let's start with the 4. The 4 over tenths would become 4 over 10 because the denominator is going to be the tenths, the place value. 4 over 10 divided by 1,000 over 1. If you make a reciprocal, it would become 4 over 10 times 1 over 1,000. It will become 4 times 1 is 4. And 10 times 1,000 becomes 10,000. I know these are big numbers, but they're pretty much like easy. So 10,000, that means the place value of 4 has now become in the 10,000th place for the TH. So if you write this, this will become a point zero 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 four. So we're done with the 4 now. Now if we come over here and do this for the 4, which is in the 1's place. So in the ones place, it would become 4, because it's a whole number, right, divided by 1,000. So since these are like whole numbers, you could just do simple division. So if you come over here and you write this, 1,000, sorry, 1,000 is going to be the divisor. So 1,000 divided by 4. We know that 4 is um, a smaller number, right? So you add a decimal point, add a 0. We still can't do it. So add a 0 up here, add another 0, still 400. We cannot divide by 1,000. Add one more zero and add another zero. We know that 1,000 can go into 4,000 four times. That means the quotient will become 0 0.004. Come over here, you write 0 0.004. And you can just leave it right like that. So we're done with the four right now, right? So if you erase this, and now you can do your final number, which is two in the tenths place. So you bring this and you write 2. Now, you need to know this. You can't just write this as 2 divided by 1,000. 2 is in the tenths place, which, is, which means it's really a 20 divided by 1,000. So if you write that and you come over here, you write 1,000 over here, 20, add the decimal point, add a 0, you still can't divide 200 by 1,000, add a 0 here, add another 0 here, 1,000 goes into 2,000 two times. So that means... The quotient will become 0 0.02. Come over here, write 0 0.02. Now, all you have to do now is add these to get your final quotient. So, if you, let's just add zeros to where there are no numbers to make this easier for us to add. So, 4 plus 0 plus 0 is 4. 0 plus 4 plus 0 is 4. 0 plus 0 to plus 2 is 2. Zero, and these are zeros, so just bring that down. Bring down the decimal point and bring down these zeros. That means the final quotient of 24.4 divided by 1,000 equals, so over here, 0 0.0244 or 0, 0.0, so this 2 would become now in the hundredths, this 4 will be in the thousandths, and the 4 will be the ten thousandths. So I know that this might seem like a little bit like more work to do, but honestly, this is like the actual logic behind it. So this is like where you know like how exactly I got my quotient, right? This is pretty much like a very good um, logical way of expressing your quotients rather than just counting the number of zeros and doing... I mean, you could use that. I mean, that's a simple method, I know. And I honestly prefer to do that myself because it, it doesn't really take much time and you still get your quotient. But this is more um, the why behind why you do that. 
So that's pretty much it for decimals division by 1,000. And um, once again, if you want to find more practice problems on this topic, you can always visit our website at www.brownsystematclub.com. And we'll see you guys next time with coming up videos. And bye!